What's going on YouTube? Uh, this is a Q&A video. I figured Zachary do one for Good Seller. Might as well pull one out for Dragon Kicks. Um, I get a lot of questions, and um, it's I get it's hard typing the same thing to different people different days. So I'm just gonna give you guys the complete rundown on absolutely everything that has to do with dragonkicks.com okay question number one is Sarah how long does shipping take well ladies and gents shipping takes anywhere from seven to ten days the day you place the order for instance today is April 6 Tuesday you placed it, money went through, everything's good to go. You will probably see your shoes April 14th to April 19th or 18th. So those are the seven to 10 days complete. That's including business, weekends, Sundays, all that good stuff, all right? Boom, question number two. Sarah, does Dragon Kick sneaker run true to size? answer no depending on the sneaker um as we can tell from you see what sneakers i've had the 14s um i'm technically a size seven and a half so i get eight the 14 was an eight um all my sneakers are eights but according to sneaker the 14 fit perfectly fine um little extra room even to wear like a thicker sock uh just throw this out here air jordan club this one right here uh the brown dunks that i got those were also an eight and those ran true to size you could even wore a thicker sock as well uh the air yeezys size eight again um, seven and a half. They ran kind of big. They felt like eight and a half. Um, the thirteens, um, the blue and gray thirteens that I got, again size eight, but they feel they feel kind of big. Uh, I wouldn't say eight and a half, but just like a really big eight. Um, the famous CDP pack. Um, the twelves ran really big. Like again, they were the pack was a size eight, but it felt like an eight and a half. The size the the twelve, um, the eleven, the black and red eleven, um, again size eight. I'm a seven and a half. It was kind of snug, um, but it was still good, and all of that. Uh, those are the only sneakers I have. Yes. Okay. So that shoe size. Number two. Um, Sarah is dragonkids.com legit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have made approximately one, two, three, four videos on dragonkids.com. I wear the sneakers every day. I've paid my share. I've used coupon codes. Yes, dragonkids.com is legit. I wouldn't make videos if it wasn't legit. Um, like I said, I never planned for this to happen. One day I decided to do a video for the CDP and it just took off from there. Yes, they're legit. I ha I'm not in cahoots with them or anything like that. They're legit. Um, they don't take your money. Nothing like that. If you're gonna... They don't take your money. Period. Next question. Sarah, how do I pay at Dragon... What is the best method of payment at DragonKicks.com? Well, me personally, I either use PayPal or payment option number two to the gateway, which is basically your credit card. Another screen's gonna pop up um, when you choose it. Let me see if I can take you to Dragon Kicks. Another screen will pop up when you use it. Um, it's called GS Pay, completely normal. They ask for your credit card, you pay with a credit card. Fine, payment option number two. Number two, ladies and gents. All right. Uh, oh, so many questions. Let me see if I can find other ones that have been asked. 
Um, tracking number. That's a good one. Uh, tracking number. You will get your tracking number. Like I said, if you placed an order today, today is Tuesday, April 6th. You will get your tracking number most likely by Friday, April 9th. It's a three day business day grace period until your tracking number. And then once you put your tracking number into USPS.com, I'll pull that up for you too. Okay. Once you put your number into the track and confirm right here and press go, and if it says something like shipping not found, it's not going to be found because it hasn't been scanned on U.S. Customs yet. So it's technically not. It's found in Chinese Customs, but it's not found in U.S. Customs yet. That's why you won't see it here. So if you check Friday and it's not there, check Monday or Tuesday. Your package will be there. They're not going to send you a fake tracking number. Okay? Um, gosh, another question. Uh, AirJordanClub.com, how long does it take for you to get your shoes from there? Same thing, 7 to 10 days, that's including business, weekends, Sundays, whenever you order. Count 7 to 10 days. Um, uh, I don't order, it's another question, I don't order from other sites. The only sites I have ever ordered from is DragonKicks.com and AirJordanClub.com. And another popular one, I haven't ordered it from, I haven't ordered from it yet though, is good-seller.com, that's Zachary, everybody orders from there. Shout outs to Zachary for putting that on, on the map and everything. Um, so no, though I don't order from anywhere else, except for those. Um, as far as telling whether other websites are legit or not I look for reviews when I google it I look for a green check so that I know it's a secure site let me show you what I guys what I'm talking about I'm just gonna put cheap Jordans in the search and uh, Google Chrome doesn't do it but I'll try Mozilla when you google any website or anything like that um, When Mozilla, and I don't, I doesn't do it in Google Chrome, but if you Google something in Mozilla, I'm going to get them put Cheap Jordans. Once you Google it, there should be checks that pop up, like green checks, determining that it's a secure site. And of course, when I want to show people, it doesn't happen. No, there it goes. There's the green checks. Green checks going down. See, now then you get like yellow ones, like that, or another yellow, or even a gray with a question mark. Those. I don't, I don't mess with it. Like, it's not going to be worth my time. It's not, again, if I don't get those green checks. I don't see great reviews. I don't see other videos on YouTube. I'm not messing with it. Um... Sorry guys, because I'm trying to keep a stable camera for you guys. Um, that's all I can think of as questions wise. Uh, those are mostly the questions that I get. Uh, nothing else really. Oh, what's the better quality between shoes? Personally, I think they're all awesome. I haven't gotten no problems with anything. The only one that I do have, and I'll show you guys. Is my 13. I play basketball in them a lot. And um, they just, they got wrecked on the bottom sole. So I'll show you that to, show that to you guys. If you look here. Um, but that's really the only kind of wreckage I've ever had in a shoe was that bottom part. And that's mostly from, uh, basketball and stuff.